So, welcome everybody to day two of my Japan 2021 Japan flight tour because I can't go to Japan for real this year. Normally, I would be going and and cycling. Uh, let's get this next off the screen. Yeah, normally I would go for like a cycling vacation for a couple of days, but this year, probably till next year, still can't get in. Couldn't get in last year, so decided to to do a virtual tour by using Microsoft Flight Simulator. And yesterday we we came down from Hokkaido. That actually took a long time because I underestimated how wide Hokkaido was. But today we'll be doing Tohoku, and uh, we'll be hitting these spots. We're up here currently at Misawa Air Base. It's currently nine th nine nineteen a.m. in Japan right now, and it's raining. Um, clouds are overcast, and I'm glad I wasn't cycling to begin with. So we'll be starting uh, from Misawa Air Base. We visited Aomori yesterday. Uh, we'll take off, and we'll head south to Lake Towada, Towada Ko. And we'll continue along the ridge of mountains here to Mount Iwate, which is a very famous mountain in the north area. Everybody uh, swears by it. Go by Lake Tazawa. Follow, we'll follow the, these chains of mountains, the old mountains. And I believe we will be heading right to Sagata and I might need to refuel at Sagata and I'll land and I'll have some vacation photos from my time cycling from Akita to Sagata down to Niigata and Toyama. The rest of Niigata to Toyama will be um, the day after I believe. I'll have the other vacation photos for then. After Sakata, uh, I actually wanted to fly by this little onsen town here because this is where I stayed. <laughs> but then we'll be headed off to Sendai and Matsushima is actually one of the updated models that they had uh, in the new in the Japan update from August of last year. So we'll be flying over Sendai which is really a massive city the bay and we'll head south along the coast here till we get to uh, Fushima reactor reactor one and all the other reactors here we'll fly over it and we'll turn right to Lake Iwashiro another very famous lake in this region and we'll head towards Niigata and land there and if it I think this uh, whole tour will be about just maybe three hours. Any, uh, if we're flying over a lot of uh, terrain that's we've seen before or it's not very interesting, well, I'll time compress everything. So that's the that's the tour. If anybody, of course, anybody wants to visit anything, uh, go ahead, tell me. We can, if it's all along the route, we can fly by it. Or if uh, if there's lots of time afterwards, we can, I can jump around and look at other things as well. But yeah, that's it for now. Uh, we'll be taking off at 5.30, actually. Uh, I'm actually going to start up the plane and drive to the gateway because it's going to take a while and we'll be actually taking off from the runway at 30. So I haven't forgotten anything, right? Wait, rudder checks? Okay, good. Brake check. Okay, good. Um,
All right. Okay, actually, I really do want to invert the controls in the cockpit. Let's bring up the map. Okay. All right. Um, yeah, I think we're ready to go. So we're going to tell ground to taxi through the gateway. Aha. I remember something. Remember to cut this out on the YouTube video. All right. Let's tune to Misawa ground control. And where are we? We're departing west. Misawa ground KYLN 9 or 9 or request taxi for west departure with India. Release parking brakes. Don't don't kill this guy on the left here. He's kind of close to me. Okay, I'm not gonna like. I'm just gonna cut the corner here. Oops. Taxiing hold short uh, runway 28 using taxiway Bravo Delta KYLN 9 or 9 or. Wait, wait, wait. Ah. Uh, I'm not used to this joystick still. Okay, this taxiing is going to take a while. Because it's, uh, it's actually 0.4 kilometers in that direction. So yeah, this is a air base, airfield. Oh wait, it's just right here. Okay. All right. Well, we still have like about three minutes before takeoff, so we're just gonna like sit here a little bit. Because I I told everybody I'm gonna be a little bit late. I mean, technically, I. Okay, that that's a little bit misaligned. Let me, let me fix this. Ne never run over these lights here either. Or these these lights over here. <laughs> ah. What's going on? Oh, I thought it froze for a second. Okay. All right, that's that's a better alignment there. All right. So just two more minutes. Okay. Well, close enough. It's five thirty. All right, let's take off. We're going to request permission from the tower. KYLM 9 or 9 or at runway 28 ready for takeoff west departure. KYLM 9 or 9 or cleared for takeoff runway 28 west departure approved. Alright. 
Here we go. Cleared for takeoff runway 28KYLN 9 or 9 Parking brakes off. Laps 20. I should have done that earlier. Okay, 70 knots, rotate, rotate, whoa, wind. There's very little visibility today. Actually, let's see if we can get above the clouds first before we make the clouds go away. <laughs> If this was a real flight, you just have to like be prepared for like bad weather days. But thankfully, we're in a game. I could like make the clouds disappear. Flaps off. Flaps are off, right? Flaps are up. See this? Nothing, you, can, you can't see anything at all. I'm using headphones and the, uh, the rain, the raindrop sounds, they're really nice. I swear, if you guys have like VR and uh, you, could, you could play around with this game if you have Xbox Live, rather than try to buy like the full price. Um, yeah, it's it's really really nice in VR. Hey, YLN 999, you are leaving my airspace frequency change approved. Missile Tower, hey, YLN 999, frequency change. Okay, I don't know where the top of the clouds are. Let's tune to our morning and see if there's a weather report. Nope. Oops. Calori Tower, KYLF 9 or 9 or 27 miles east for touch and go. I pressed the wrong button. I I I need to cancel. I don't I don't actually want to land. I was trying to look for a weather report. Okay. We saw what at is. Here we go. Departing runway 28. VFR aircraft, say direction of flight. All aircraft. 
aircraft read back hold short instructions. Advise controller on initial contact you have in here. Yeah, it's it's really pushing me around. Misawa Airport Information India 0000 Zulu. White tree two eight at two zero. Visibility six in heavy rain. Sky condition. Okay. So it looks like there's there's clouds all the way up to eleven thousand feet. I don't think we're going to climb that high. So uh, I'm going to get rid of the clouds. I have like scattered clouds. So that's pretty nice, right? Get fewer clouds here. Okay, so we are currently, we have just taken off from Misawa. Here's all the other uh, flights going around, around us here. All right, so our first waypoint is Lake Towada. And also, I guess, Mount Hiraidake. And that is just off to the right here. So we will, we probably need like the altitude for that. So we're going to have the autopilot hold 5,000 feet. And heading of, well, well why are we going down here? Okay, autopilot on. Okay. So we're gonna time compress a little bit here. Until we get to the lake. And like we were talking about yesterday, Aomori, Hokkaido more than anything, but also Aomori has a lot of uh, farmland up here too. Uh, famous for Aomori apples, of course. I was recommending everybody should try some to get a chance. Like these are these are very large farms. Most people don't have farms this size in the rest of Japan. They have like little little farms. And that looks like Mount Herai Dake up up ahead right there. So we'll go by the mountains here. We'll go by the mountains and then we'll circle the lake and head south. Sorry. Towa... Towada po. To lake Towada. Disengage autopilot. So this also looks like some sort of volcano that exploded.
yesterday we saw a lot of like uh, volcano craters in Hokkaido. Some of them look like perfect craters. Some of them look like they're exploded and had a massive landslide. So it looks like up here, that's pretty much the same. Similar things going on here too, it looks like. It's weird. I'm getting like some freezes. That didn't happen yesterday. So down there, it looks like some sort of resort town. Because, you know, every lake has, probably has like a resort that you probably want to visit. Of course, Microsoft Flight Simulator can't map out all the buildings perfectly, but they do a fairly good job sometimes. All right, let's turn. Let's turn around and circle the lake a little bit. Really nice rendering. Lake Head Heri Herai Dake. Okay, we'll go around the the lake here. Wow, look at that. Look at that sheer cliff face. All right. So let us continue south here. I'll have the autopilot hold 4,000 feet. Oh, Artificial Kitty, thanks for the raid. I welcome raiders. Uh, Phoenix Blaze, Artificial Kitty raid. Uh, thanks for the raid and welcome to the stream, everybody. Uh, I just took off. I had some technical issues, so I only took off at like 530. I basically broke my joystick. I Erratica, welcome as well. Um, sorry, hold on. We So we are just. We just left Misawa Air Base. It's raining pretty hard in Japan, so I made the clouds disappear in the game. And Lake Owada. By the way, I also brought up Google Maps because sometimes big maps. Uh-oh. Uh, what, what's the autopilot doing? Autopilot is trying to kill us again. Hi, uh, Race Division. Race Division and Angie Wolf as well. Welcome to the stream. Where are we flying today? We are flying Tohoku. We're heading south right now. Uh, but flying into a thunderstorm is more fun. But unfortunately, there is no thunderstorm. It's just heavy rain. Actually, since I think like today, it's not going to be a very long um, flight. After after this, uh, we can I can try to set it to thunderstorm and see what happens. This game just murders my PC. Yes, um, I'm running a thirty eighty as well, 
and I have to set it down to 1440p and only at mostly like high settings. I can't do ultra. Okay, so the reason why I wanted to bring up Google Maps is because Google is better for doing things like, like this, like uh, type Japanese. Ryokan. When you just like search for stuff like the Ryokan, you can like find, aha, see, this is a tourist area. Right? This is a tourist area with hotels. And now you know, like, oh, this might be a nice place to go. Anyways, this this looked like a complete, like a complete, like a crater lake, actually. So yeah, so you search for Yokan or on, onsen. Search for like, on, onsen. Okay, I guess there's no. Nothing came up here, but you can find like you know hot spring towns and lakes in in, uh, in the mountains like this. We get to go to another onset. Yes, got a thirty eighty, but it ain't even close to being enough. Yes, need a forty eighty or forty ninety. Yeah, I was thinking. Instead of getting like a 3090, since the 3080 is almost like half price, I would get a 3080. Then when the 4080 comes out, I'll get a 4080. And that would be like the same cost as getting, getting a 3090. Maybe. I don't know. Spending too much money. But then again, I can't spend money to go to Japan. So I might as well spend money on, on this stuff. Okay. Next waypoint. See, I am using Bing Maps to keep a collection of, of places to go. Okay, the famous Mount Iwate is, is where we're trying to go next. Uh, this is a very iconic mountain in Japan or for the northern area. Google has like better pictures too. Yeah, and you can hike up here. And also it's not it's not in danger of being active, I believe, but it is a volcano. Okay, so where is it? It's pretty far to the south. We will time compress it. Um RJSI. Where is RJSI? Hanamaki. Hanamaki. Here. G. Hanamaki Airport. So over here. So Mount Iwate is actually pretty far north of that. Um, the airport's there. Senboku Lake is there. No, Lake Taz Tazawa is there. Mount Iwate is there. So if we look for that, we probably need to go right about there. And I actually don't know how to use the map on this side. That's a co-pilot thing, but I just accidentally zoomed out. I accidentally panned it too. Anyways, that's real life. I can use like the in-game one. So we, we're headed in the right direction mostly. Uh, 4,000 feet looks like it's enough, so I'm going to time compress here. Uh, 
3080 was like impossible to get here. Oh, MFG, you guys are insane. People were selling them for like 1300 euros. Holy cow. I wasn't paying 1300 for just 10 gigabytes. Yeah. And Budoichi Neko, uh, welcome to the stream. I welcome everybody. Uh, okay, arm compression. Um, yeah, I, I put mine in, I put an order in for mine, like in September and it didn't, it took till like late October. Like I had to wait an entire month. And I thought that was bad. I thought like, oh, maybe the next year things would improve, but I didn't realize it would, it would take even longer for people to get it. Supposedly the, they're still manufacturing at the same rates. It's just there's so much more demand across multiple industries, but that's why it's just insane. And the silicon sword shortage may not end until 2020, 2022. I'm guessing maybe even 20, beginning of 2023 or something like that, because they're just making the foundries now, right? Oh, what's this coming up here? It looks like ski hills. That looks like ski hills, right? You wouldn't get like great rundowns. Oh yeah, and they have like buildings on there. So, okay, we're gonna have to like dodge these mountains a little bit here. But it's it certainly looks like ski a ski hill right here. Which one is it? Let's see. It's these things, right? Actually, there's another ski hill behind us. Happy Kogan Ski Resort. Wait, let's see if we can see that. Did we pass it? Oh no. Okay, this is the mountain. Like Mount Iwate is over there. Right? So this is these mountains here. So this is Api Kogin Ski Resort. Very nice. I feel like I should uh, cycle. I should uh, go skiing in Japan too. You know, I never really go there like straight in the winter, December, January, but maybe, maybe this year or next year. And that's Mount Iwate up there. Let's head back south. I'm compressed to get ourselves to Mount Iwate. Ah. Although this is not going to be enough altitude, I think. Hopefully 5,000, okay, 5,000 feet doesn't look like it's going to be enough. I guess what we'll do is we'll break to the left and we'll circle around the mountain while climbing. Let's 
give it a bit more power here. Tohoku is one of the last places I haven't really cycled yet, other than the West Coast. I was actually thinking of cycling... thinking of cycling like up this interior here because if it follows a wait that's Sendai yeah like up here to Sendai and then straight up all the way here ish and then I wouldn't cycle this because it would just be crazy I'd just take like the the train to like maybe over here Depending how long this is, it might be a very long trip, but uh, I'd have to like get back in shape. Spending like a year working at home. Uh, Nage-san, yurashai. Uh, okay, autopilot off. Wow, this is... This is very close to the top at uh, Iwate. Let's let's climb a little bit. Kore wa Iwate Yama. Oh. Ii keshiki. Ah, so so. Kono game wa. Kono game no graphics wa kiko. Kiko, yeah, kiko i tomo. Okay, just wait. I'm gonna, I'm gonna have to climb up. I'm gonna have to turn left and climb as well. Oh, hi, Riddle Twenty Two. Welcome to the stream. Uh, actually, it's it's raining today in Tohoku. Because I couldn't really see anything. You can't really see anything with the clouds, so I, I, I made them disappear. Any in-flight food today? Oh, I bought some... I bought an egg McMuffin uh, for myself and hash browns. It's in the... It's in the heater. I'm gonna, like, reheat it. Hi, Southwind. Too many passengers in here. <laughs> Hi, Flight Master guy. <laughs> Thanks. Yes. It's getting really heavy. Everybody is, like, 70 kilograms on average, right? Oh, what's what's this? Is this a crater? Is this a volcano? Yes, they said this was a Mount Iwate was a volcano. Or is a volcano? Right here, let's pause for a second. Iwate Yama. Iwate Yama wa Land Strato Volcano in Towada Hachimantai National Park with a na challenging hike to the summit. That's what it says. I should make this bigger here. So you can actually hike all the way up to the top. Right, we, we saw the pictures here. So yeah, it would be very nice to visit here. But... Oh, this is when it, it had snow on there. It 
So that's that's where I am right now. <laughs> Only one egg McMuffin for all of us? Okay, let's turn down and head towards the lake uh, this direction. Oh, sadly I can't join you flying today. I need to go fight a stupid boss later. Oh, sorry man. Uh, sorry to hear that. So I can sleep early and wake up early and do my workout and go to work. Amazing, yeah. Uh, sorry to hear that, but you can watch the VOD and I'll upload the video to YouTube later. But you can join us uh, for over the next few days if you can. But thanks for stopping by though. Actually, today is not really going to be that long, I think. Okay, where is the lake? All right, let the autopilot take over. So we are actually headed towards this lake over here. Uh, what was it called? Lake, oh right, Pazawa, Pazawa Cove. What was that beep? Okay, it's going for 5,000 feet. Lake Kawazako. So it's, it's actually over this mountain ridge, it looks like. I have to get across it. Okay, so we're headed due almost west. Uh, okay. I guess uh, let's time compress this. Stall. Whoa. Stall. 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 Yeah. Actually, that was not the autopilot's fault. That was probably my fault. I didn't give it enough engine power to climb. This autopilot doesn't control the throttle, unfortunately. It's just this broken Genshin story boss. Oh, in the game. I thought you meant you had to like actually fight, physically fight your boss at work or something. <laughs> good, good luck with the game boss. I think that's that's a lot safer. Time compressed. Stall. Stall. Yes, stall. If your plane keeps screaming stall at you, that's like a bad. bad. Okay, where's the lake? It looks like it's completely behind this mountain here. Behind this mount Akita Akita Komaga Komaga Take Akita Komaga Take Yama. So we're gonna have to go around this. We're gonna have to go around that mountain to get to the lake. Wow, this looks like a crater as well, like a volcano. 
Is everything around here a volcano? I mean, like, for hundreds of years ago, they probably erupted, you know. Now, I don't fight my job boss. I will use the law to defeat him. <laughs> That's good. That's probably a little bit more legal. All right. I'm going to have to take control here. This actually looks like, what is this, hiking? There's a little road down here. Hiking. Looks like we can do hiking up to the top. Actually, wait, let's see if we can cross the top here. Yeah, there's some buildings up here. And the lake should be off to our left right here. Yeah. There's still a bit of a ways to go. Let's descend to, I don't know, 2,400 feet. And we'll have the autopilot descend here. Oh no, I missed my flight. Don't worry, just meet us at the, uh, where are we going next? Uh, Sakata. Some 1,000 years ago, Japan was like Hawaii after volcano erup eruptions. You can skydive onto the plane. Yeah. You, you see, you saw that in the Batman movie, right? You just need to like have another plane, grapple this plane. So I bet you there's also a lot of uh, resorts and hotels here, like Azawa. So yeah, if I search for your, uh, yeah, over here and up the mountain. By the way, there's what was up here? There was a a refuge. That's that's the building we saw, I guess. It thought that that little cabin was a building. I think it's pretty neat. So you can basically hike up there, but you can also have hotels here. Yeah, it looks pretty nice. Ah, what am I doing to myself? So that was that was over there at that on the east bank of this lake. There's some more stuff on the south bank here. Let's see. Mm -hmm. Doesn't seem to be hotels though. Trout Museum. So a little bit of a forest area, a farm stay. So it'd be like almost like a B and B or something like that. 
campground. Yeah, definitely this is a very nice place to visit, I, I would think, as well. All right, let's, let's head south a bit. Let's turn south, hopefully not into a mountain. Okay, there's a mountain there. All right. Self-inflicted torture, yeah. It's like looking at food, right? Looking at food, but you can't, you can't eat it. Home is calling you, kind of. I'm, I'm more of a tourist, although I would say Akiba is my home away from home. All right, where are we headed to next? Lake Izawa, uh, Lake Tazawa is that. Uh, right, we're going to follow the mountains down south. Like we'll pass by, look, okay, this is all like farmland up here, it looks like. But we'll follow the old mountains south. Uh, but then we will, what is it, turn right? to Sakata and we're going to go for refueling there before we cross over to Sendai and then go down this coast and then cross back over to Nikata. So okay, O Mountains. See if we can make the weather clear. Actually, let's see what what's the live weather like right now. This is this is live weather right now in Japan. Can't can't see anything. Oh, also my lights are incorrect. I need to have uh, these lights. Not, this is definitely like challenging to fly in. This is clear skies. Wow. It's really flat here. That's of course that's why there's farmland. speed up time a little bit and head south. Uh, looks like there's a flight approaching. Let's see if we can spot it. This is, of course, like really dangerous because you you can you never know when you're gonna hit like an airplane out of the blue. It's actually it's actually really dangerous. Oh, actually, the plane just keeps moving, right? Well, I can't see where it is. I don't get any data here either. So this is a, a flight simulator thing where you get get the data from live flights. Just shoot them down. <laughs> maybe maybe I'll take a jet out after. There's no buttons for weapons though, so I need to play ace combat or something. Alright, speed up again. Yeah, I guess like now that we've come from the north, it looks like this is normal farmland, but this is actually very unusual. This whole area is like 
this Hokkaido and this area is responsible for a large majority of the rice in Japan, I believe. And the city we're about to turn to next, Sakata, is like, it, it is literally uh, when you buy rice, you literally buy Sakata rice. Okay, well, maybe not, not in English here. So Sakata is it's famous for, for the rice and other vegetables too, right? Okay, how far are we now? Okay, RJSI was the airport over here. I forget what it's called. Uh, Hanamaki Airport. Zoom back up. And we are just passing that. Can we tune to Sakata? Let's see. Oh, I wonder if there's like actually nothing to tune to in Sakata. All right, let's speed things along. So this is actually some very unpopulated mountains. I'm more used to seeing like closer to the south of Japan that you would you would just see, you would still see people in the mountains. That's a lot of farm. Yeah. But Japan needs all they need all this farm as well. They still have to import a lot of food. Uh, otherwise. Oh. It frees up. Okay, where are we? Now YSE is Sakata Airport, right? Uh, Squamish? No. Oops. Sakata Airport. Shonai Airport. Oh, I went into Shonai Airport. Yamagata. Okay, there's the airport. Actually, let's break for the coast. Yeah, let's head let's head west straight for the coast because I I'm more familiar with the coast actually. Because I don't cycle through mountains. <laughs> I'm not crazy. <laughs> I don't have the legs to cycle through the mountains. Okay, make sure we aren't gonna hit any mountains here. Right, okay, this is Nikaho. So I actually, when I was cycling down from Akita, I actually stopped here. 
for the night. And then from Nikaho, I went through Sakata. I think I stopped at Sakata as well. I forget. Okay, but this little bump here on the coast is is Nikaho. So this is Sakata down here. So we are headed in the right direction. Uh, don't think we're going to make those mountains. Let's go up to 3,500. Good. Let's take a look around here. Actually, what is that mountain over there? Oh, let's make sure we don't hit this. Okay, good. That's that's actually a bit close. Okay, what is that mountain up there? Mountain. It's this thing, right? Mount Chokai. Oh, active volcano. Active volcano and did it say burial site? Spiritual site. How are we for time? Maybe we should just take a little detour over there. I'll time compress so so we go a little faster. Also, it looks like. Any more altitude here. Try 5,500 feet. So the other one was not an active volcano. Right. This one is an active volcano. It says. All right, I'll take over here. Let's keep climbing. I believe. I believe I was still under time compression there. Yeah, it's an active volcano. Let's go. Let's go right up to the top and look in. Sure, that's a great idea. But they know. They know when like volcanoes are about to erupt. I think, because they can measure the pressure. This was the first countries I had to take a look at when I was in alpha with the sim. So much better than FSX and P3D. Hi, anime captain gaming. Hi, welcome to the stream. Yeah, this is really nice. Oh, wait a second. This whole side has been blasted. So it must have, it must have erupted before and just had a like, landslide, like Mount St. Helens. Wow. I I don't think this terrain, the satellite data is correct, but 
I think you can still see you can still see the effects. And we'll we'll take a look at in the in Google Maps for real in a second here. Yeah. Oh, what's this? It's a little area with the lake. It's aggressively turned this way. Yeah. It's. Ooh, oh, speed. I mean, this area looks a little bit bare. They probably. The rendering of trees is probably incorrect, but. Looks like there's some trails here as well. <laughs> a little bit smooth. This looks like a. A light simulator from the 90s or something like that. I smuggled some porridge onto the plane. Hope you won't mind. Just be careful, don't slosh it everywhere. Like, especially when I do this. Stall. Stall. Alright, let's let's head out to the coast. We're gonna descend to maybe two thousand feet. Let the uh, autopilot take care of that. Hope it doesn't kill us. And let's take a look at this mountain again. Mount Cholkai. Yeah, look at this. It's just blasted on this side. And this is lava. Oh, that's why it was smooth. This is all lava flow. Look at that. Holy cow. Most likely the magma chamber erupted during an empty during eruption and part of the mountain fell in. Yeah. Stop stalling the plane, I won't splash it. It's not me, it's the, it's the autopilot. Okay, this these spikes here are probably just a terrain data error. In big maps it's probably different, I guess. Okay, only the application has 3D here. Uh, I have a feeling that we already overshot the coast, but... Okay, not yet. We're still going. Yeah, real life is actually pretty slow. <laughs> we need, like, time compression in real life. Oops. Ah, you see all the greenery here. Wow. Like the vegetation here must be wild to look at. I don't know what that's color. Why well, it's covered in uh, blue here, but. Yeah. There's no way I'm going to cycle up something like that. That would just kill me. <laughs> okay, now this is the this is actually the coast that I cycled down. I remember let's pause it for a second. I remember cycling down this way. And once we landed, I'm gonna take out the vacation photos, but yeah, I came down that's Nikaho up there. So I came down this way. I don't think I used the expressway. I went through like these roads here. And I crossed down. Or did I? Here, let's turn. Disengage autopilot. We'll take a sharp turn down here. I do remember cycling through all the farmland here, so I think I did go out. I do remember cycling along the beach. I gotta we'll consult the video here in a second. Makes oops. 
Oops. Make sure you go to flight sim dot to plenty of Japan senior airport cities. Liveries for your craft all made by developers for free. Yeah, I've got I downloaded a bunch of liveries. I wanted to actually make my own. Didn't have time. Uh, I downloaded all the enhanced models, but those are more in the bigger cities. Uh, of course, I have the update. Oh, flightsim.to. Okay. Right. I'll take a look at that. Thanks. I'll just download everything for Japan. So I remember cycling down this road here, and one of the problems was I depended on a convenience store. It depends, like, there's convenience stores in Japan everywhere, right? Uh, but in here, in Sakata, there was, like, no convenience store for, like, was it 20 kilometers in any direction? Because I was in the middle of farmland. You know, like, they're not going to have farmland in uh... Okay, it looks like we are... This is an uncontrolled airport in the game. Okay, and we want to land on... Let's land on runway 27, I guess. Romeo Juliet Sierra Yankee traffic KYLN 9 or 1 2 miles north 700 feet inbound to land runway 27. Wait, where's the airport? What? No 7-Eleven or Lawson? Yeah! It was like the first time I ever encountered a place without like a, a convenience store within 5 kilometers or something. So I was cycling down this whole road. I think it was it was something like this whole road here. And I was basically like out of blood sugar. Uh, I don't know what they really call it. Bonking? The air pilot, just hold it for me. Okay, we we are still like a bit away from the airport here. So okay, we we still have a, a distance to get to the airport. Yeah, I think there was like I googled searched for like a. The convenience store and it was like way over there or something like that and it's like do i it was closer for me to reach sakata so like over here i think it was this road over here there was like restaurants and i remember like being so happy to cross this bridge which had a little vertical incline that was really tough but then there was like a <laughs> there's a doton body it literally is the restaurant is called Doltonbori. Yeah, I know what you mean. I get that way when I overwork constantly have to eat to keep the sugar in my blood. Yeah. Because I have been cycling from Nikaho up here. And that that was like about three and a half hours already. And in fact one of the problems I had was well I'll show you in the pictures, but I had oops. Uh, kind of drifting off to the left here. One of the problems is I had a, uh, I so I couldn't find anything to eat, and I drank, uh, like a pop, the <laughs> soda. It may actually made things worse. Okay, let's speed up time a little bit. Wait. I actually need to approach from this side. 
because we're landing we're landing west here. Okay, there's the airport. What's the autopilot doing? I don't have all the controls mapped properly, so... Okay, it's descending. Okay, good. I can share some of this porridge if you need food. I'm gonna... Well, I'm not that hungry right now. I actually have some watermelons I was gonna eat first, but... We're gonna land at um, Sakata here, or Shonai Airport. Uh, I'm gonna take a little break while I have some watermelons and then we'll take off and we'll head out for Sendai after this so let's see if I can do an actual real live weather landing okay I, I don't think I have a chance at this I'm not, I'm still not good at instrument. Wait. <laughs> yeah, there's no way I could do this. We'll, we'll have some like scattered clouds. Okay, there we go. Shonai Airport. I've got the controls. Start descending. Romeo Juliet Sierra Yankee traffic KYLN nine or nine or three miles east one thousand eight hundred feet inbound to land runway two seven. We're actually gonna like do a little turn to the left instead. Give me some more time to descend here. Actually, I'm kind of at 1600 feet. Probably fine, but I need to slow down a bit. Okay, where's the airport? There's the airport, okay. Romeo Juliet Sierra Yankee traffic KYLN 9 or 9 is on final runway 27 to land. Wait, one second. You should look at my flight sim setup. My wife let me invest into it last year. Yeah, I, I spent far too much money for this as well. I'm using um, Rustmaster Warthog the joystick and throttle. I'm going too fast. And I got a mount for the chair. <laughs> as I was mapping the controls for this I realized I needed rudder so I went out and bought some. going too fast. Okay, below 90 now. There's no services here, right? So I can't actually get any fuel. I think in real life you can get fuel, right? Otherwise, once you land, are you like stranded here? Okay, that's... Okay, brakes.
Okay, where is the taxi? Where's the taxiway? Oh, there was the taxiway. Okay. All right, let's, let's just go on the grass here. Never do this in real life. Yeah, I'm technically clear of the Romeo runway. Romeo Juliet Sierra Yankee traffic KYLN Niner Niner is clear of the runway. Okay, yeah, I'm on a pedestrian path here. <laughs> it's probably a little ditch here in real life. Probably couldn't drive my airplane over it. Second. Oh, there is actually a gateway here. It's probably not for like small planes like me. You know what? Let's just go park. Okay, all right. Uh, engine's off. Parking brake on. All right, we are at five gallons on the left wing. Oh, that's. I wonder if they modeled my left wing being heavier. All right. So that's it for now, but oh, uh, thanks for your thanks for subscribing, uh, Anime Captain Gaming. Went out and bought some rudders just like that. Oh, they were on sale, so and it was fairly cheap. And it was like the quality of this one was better than the other one. I got the Thrustmaster one, although they're they are pretty cheap, but it does the job for now. Okay. Um, wait, I wanted to show you guys. Let's see. So here's, here's a bunch of like my videos. The videos are going to be really long, um, but this this is the relevant one here. I gotta I gotta turn off the music because I use turn off the audio because I use music on this. But this was 2014. I basically cycled from Nikaho, or I guess it wasn't Nikaho, it was like a little bit past that, down to Sakata. So I had to make motion stabilize this, but then uh, this video is 47 minutes. We're not going to watch the whole thing because that would be crazy. I'm just going to fast forward it. Uh, yeah, the map is zoomed in quite a lot, but. So also this is like at about four times the speed. It's not, uh, I don't cycle this fast. So we just passed over the Naso River. Um, so I mean, this, this area up here just looks like regular Japan, but then I guess if you guys haven't seen it, this, this is what most of Japan looks like. And this would be like out in the in the countryside, highways and stuff like that. Um, but what the the reason why I'm visiting Sakata is like this area is just so okay. I'm still along the coast here. I'm, this is probably approaching Nikaho. Oh, hi, small biscuit. Well, I'm I'm taking a break. I'm landed at uh, Sakata right now, 
and I'm gonna go get some food in a second, but I was just gonna speed ahead. This is, okay, this is still the coast here. This is like, This is Nikaho right here. I was, I think I'm turning around. So we just flew over this. It looks a lot like out in the country in Western Oregon and Washington, the coastline. Yes, definitely. The rocks are all very different. Like geologically speaking, it's all uh, different, even within Japan, like the Northern and the middle and the Southern West coast, all the rocks are different. It's really interesting. I don't know very much about geology, but you can tell there's something different about the way the coasts developed. Yeah, sorry, I can't turn on the music. This is more interesting with music, but Bukura Station. It's better if I go to uh, Google Maps here. Okay, yeah, so this part, I was still kind of leaving the city area. So Fukuda Station, see, I just passed that. And I basically turned over here. And rather than cycling along the beach here, I decided, oh, let's go cycle along the farmland, which is what I'm doing. I'm following this line right here. Oh, actually, I should be up here still right now. Okay, let me skip ahead. Where am I? I, I think I'm somewhere over here. Or no, I'm somewhere over here. Wow, it's hard to think this was six years ago. That coastline, judging by that video, auto used. Yeah, this is a this is just the warp stabilization. So I didn't have like the the near one that I got in 2015 yet. Also, I had a little scratch on the camera. The camera I bought came with a scratch right in the middle. And it wasn't, there was like a lens cap, like not a lens cap, but there was like a little glass above the actual camera lens that you had to unscrew to get to the camera lens that you would never unscrew. Once you unscrew it, I saw there was a scratch right in the middle of the lens. <laughs> the camera came with it. So that's why you see this little blur. This area looks so comfy, yes. Okay, yeah, okay, so here is where I transitioned from the Hinata River. That's this thing here, right? So I think I went across here. I went across somewhere. I forget exactly. And then basically I started going south Maybe it was over here. But basically, I started going south along this route. One of these roads, I totally forgot. Three, route 353. Three. Ah, this one, route 353. Three. So it was literally farmland on both sides. I had never seen since or uh, before that or since. Never seen like this much farmland anywhere so i had to ride all the way down there so i'm going to leave you with the video for a few seconds um, i'm going to go get some food i'll be right back
Wait a second, that doesn't sound like copyright free music. Oh gee, I hope my stream doesn't get muted. Well, I'm recording it anyway, so that's fine. Yeah, this is just like completely flat farmland all around uh, until until I hit Sakata. So basically, this area here. Yeah, almost almost died going up that just tiny little bridge. So yeah, I finally noticed there was like a bunch of family restaurants here, so I had to take a break and, and eat lunch. Anyways, that was it. The so just out of curiosity, this is this is the bike I use. It's a it's a folding bike, so it allows me to like ride on a train. Play your own music over it, then yeah. Yep. Copyright. Uh, it's okay. It's okay. I'm I'm supposed to be using the one on Spotify. I have no idea why it used like Huey Lewis here. But anyways. Yeah, this is the bike. Like two saddlebags. This is a bike bag. It's for holding the whole bike so I can like ride trains with it or taxis. You know, without getting everything dirty. This is the Fanta that I had right before that long stretch of nothing, which caused my blood sugar to crash. <laughs> so this is, I stopped to take like a picture of, like but right before I went into the farmland area, I took a picture of this just to show how like expansive the farms were. And then this is the, so I stopped at a restaurant called, uh, Dotonbori, they had oko okonomiyaki. Oh, my mouth is permanently open. Ah. <gasps> ah. Okay. <laughs> I don't know why it's like this. Um. It must have, it must have screwed up. Clear calibration. Okay, I don't have time to, to calibrate. I'm going to make it like not. Let's just go back to. Uh, why is it doing this still? Ah, uh, why is it still doing this? <laughs> I, it must be it must be like looking all this all, at all this food here. Sorry, this is when I had a, like a really bad camera. So this is this is the whole mixture for like the pancake, um, that you that you literally grill in front of you. This is not a northern. Wait, is it a mo? Wait, hold on. This is a this is not a northern. Specialty is more like Osaka thing, but they purposely had a chain restaurant here called Dotonbori that served this. It was actually my first time having this in Japan. So that's the pancake you can make. And yes, it was it was really good. <laughs> this is making me hungry. Yeah. Okay. Let me restart the avatar thing. <laughs> yeah, I'm just like so excited to see the foods. Ah, I'm hungry. Okay, seems to be back now. <sighs> ah, yeah. Okay, thanks. Thanks for letting me know. Key lime pie. No, this is okonomiyaki. Sorry, that's 
it had these ingredients in here. It's it's salty. It's not sweet. So you you literally grill it in front of you, and then you you put like um I forgot what these green things are, but you put like the takoyaki sauce on it. It's really good. But yes, it's a more of an Osaka thing. If you go to Osaka, they have like really top tier okonomiyaki restaurants. Okay. Um, okay, so I, I actually wanted to talk about, uh, like I said, our next... Actually, do I, can I get more fuel here? Okay, so there's, there's actually a bug, I think, in the game where I cannot request more fuel. So I'm going to restart in this airport and I'll have more fuel. Oh, wait, I can't even find. Okay, I can't even find that airport. It's like, but we know where it is. Or I thought I knew where it was. Oh, okay, there's no U, that's why. All right. Start from the gate. It is 11 o'clock in Japan right now. So yes, the next area that I'm hoping to hit is uh, we are we are going to go south just a little bit, and because I I stayed here after cycling uh, to Sakata. The next day I cycled. Actually, I took the train down here. Uh, that's what I wanted to show. Uh, Wait, why is it? Uh... By the way, it's raining pretty heavily in Japan right now, so I will make the weather nice for our flight. But the next day, wait, did I cycle? Okay, I did cycle. So the next day, I basically cycled to Atsumi Onsen. So there was this, the stations out here, but then there's like this whole little tiny onsen city, onsen town, up the river here. Luckily, it wasn't too much of a climb. Um, oh, if you have any questions about uh, Flight Simulator, remember I was Alpha, I would be honored to answer your questions. Uh, okay, uh, although probably not on stream, I probably need a bunch of time I kind of learned the autopilot stuff. I have like, it's not more like I need to learn how to map the keys to which keys need to be pressed and then map it to my throttle. Does Play Simulator use detailed mapping like this to have some locations? Yes. I knew it was a huge game, but not this huge. Yes, this game is probably something like a petabyte on their servers, and they have to stream parts of it. To you because there's no way anybody will have a petabyte hard drive yet. I have a little impression that you like Chris Broad with riding across Japan. Oh, uh, I probably would if if I heard about it. Wait, Chris riding that's probably something I should check out. On YouTube, okay. I'll I'll have to take a look at it later off stream, but sounds really interesting. So I, I did publish a lot of these videos on YouTube as well, but I'm just a small small YouTuber here. <laughs> but sounds really really fun. 
Over 127 gigabyte download, yes. Sandbox mode or simulation career aspect. It definitely has a pilot logbook and you get, you rank up. But it, it's not so much of a game as it is literally you, you have to plan your own flights. Oh, actually there are like landing challenges. Mods are making car toys can drive ships too. Yeah, I've got the mod for the helicopter. We're going to take it out two days from now when we hit Tokyo. And I'm going to helicopter around Tokyo. Anyways, so Atsumi Onsen. I mean, this, this whole area was just kind of cycling from Sakata down out to the coast again. But yeah, this is by the way, this is what the coast looks like up here. It's for one thing, it's really nice cycling on the coast because it's flat. <laughs> flat. You can drive. That's that sounds great. That's that's what you want to do, right? You want to fly somewhere and then you want to explore the city. The city isn't really mapped very well sometimes. Various cities. So and they're probably not gonna make it great for driving but then you know uh, he has a playlist on his channel named journey across japan nearly two kilometers on bike from yamagata to kyushu ah sounds nice i've done i've done most of that except i haven't really done kyushu yet um okay sorry let's skip ahead because where was i going Yeah, okay, so this is just, I'm just going down the coast. Wait, I lost it. Yeah, so I really didn't get, like, you don't really get too far on a slow folding bike like this. But let's see, okay, I think I have the video of me entering the town. So this is approaching the station here. That's Atsu, wait. Oh, I typed this wrong. It's Atsu, it's actually Atsumi. Oh gee, I had a mistake on the video. So yeah, I turned inland up up the river. Knows how slow I'm going, <laughs> even though it's four times. Four times the speed here. Just skip ahead. Uh, this is still like like a highway area. Just since I turn in here, then it actually looks starts to look really impressive here. Wait, the video stopped here. Oh, okay. That's that's my hotel here. So I, I stayed there, but the town was actually a little bit further up. And that's that's the hotel that I stopped at. And this is further into the town. Um, of course, I was there when there wasn't really anybody else there. And this is the food at the hotel. Excuse me. Unfortunately, a little bit blurry because my phone was crappy. This is the this is the menu. That's a grilled salmon, and this was really, really good. You pick out like this a little bit of meat all over the place, you pick it out and eat it. It was really good. This is a steamed egg pudding. It's not sweet. It's, it's salty. I don't know how to describe it. This is just dessert. And this was breakfast. So yeah, that that was. Uh, that's the whole reason why I cycle in Japan. It's to, uh, to go to places like this and eat. So you can't really, it's not like you can land an aircraft here or anything like that, but we are gonna, we are gonna take off. Uh, we're gonna go down the coast, we're gonna fly across this, up the mountain. 
and uh, we'll continue on. We'll hit. We'll go across to Sendai because uh, I want to take a look at Matsushima Bay. This is one of the uh, areas that was updated in August. Chawan Mushi, yes, that was Chawan Mushi. I think. I mean, there isn't anything else would be called. So yeah, it's Chawan Mushi. All right, so we'll go to Matsushima and and Sendai. We'll fly down the coast. Uh, we're gonna fly over Fukushima. And don't do this in real life. We'll crisscross back to Lake Inawashiro, and then we'll land at Nikata. And I believe this will take about another hour. Now I'm with a food. You you got food now as well. All right, so let's uh, let's start let's start up. Make sure we have full gas here. We'll take off with live weather, and then I'll I'll get rid of the clouds once we start looking at stuff. <clears throat> Actually, let me some more watermelon here. Hmm. Romeo Juliet Sierra Yankee traffic KYLN Niner Niner is taxiing to runway 27. Okay. Oh. What's going on? My parking brake is off, right? This is a toggle switch. It got inverted somehow. Wait, is it is the brake on now? Yeah, it's released now. Yeah, okay. Wait, did I hit pause by accident? Yeah, oh shit, I hit pause. Yes, that's why. Oh, don't crash. Okay. Okay, I'm gonna have to drive under this gateway here. Ooh, that was bad. I must I must have hit pause by accident. <laughs> Alright, let's taxi to the runway. Runway 27, can I taxi to a different runway? I guess not. Romeo Juliet Sierra Yankee traffic KYLN Niner Niner is taxiing to runway 27. You know what? Okay, don't do this in real life. I'm gonna taxi to the other runway, the other side. Because <laughs> I want to take off. No, no, wait. No, wait. I do want to take off west ish. Pretty dark today. So it's 11 o'clock right now? Yes, it's 11 o'clock in Japan. Wow, I feel like they should make a runway that's not... They should make a taxiway that's not on the runway. Although this, this is probably just because it's a generic airport in Life Simulator. Eleven ten in Japan. Yes. Also, I shouldn't. I shouldn't be like hitting these lights on the runway either, or driving onto the grass. Wow. 
or driving into the lights at the end of the runway. Okay, oops. All right. Uh, depart north. I am departing west, right? Yes. Romeo Juliet Sierra Yankee traffic KYLN Niner Niner taking off runway two seven departure to the west. All right, let's go. Wow, no visibility. It's like I can't even see the end of the runway here. Rotate. You're up. Be nice to get a bit more engine power, but can't, can't even see anything. I'm going to go have some video. Thanks for stopping by, uh, Anime Captain Gaming. And, uh, Yayoi san, Yerashai, Ohayo. But, wait, oh, oh, wait, hold on. Just wait. Tomorrow night and the weekend's busiest time on Twitch. Good luck with your stream. See you in the skies. Thanks. See you. See you in the skies too. Yayoi-san, uh, yo. By the way, I linked link a site where Journey Across Japan is listed with a, with a map. You can find it on QD server. Okay, great. Thanks. Okay, let's turn. Let's turn south. We can maintain 2,000 feet. And we'll fall along the coast. Dial the um, autopilot to hit two thousand feet. Okay, two thousand two hundred. Oh, there's mountains there. Okay, we'll engage the autopilot. All right, and let's get rid of the weather. Oops. Let's get rid of the clouds. There we go. All right, so we've just took off from Shonai. Shonai is in Sakata. And we are going to try to go to Atsumi Onsen. Where is Atsumi on set? Uh, with this visibility, I guess you're going on IFR flight. Yes, if you didn't get rid of clouds. Yes, if this was reality, uh, actually, I probably would have died. Oh, I'm not. I'm not probably rated to do. Oops, instrument flight. Oh, I hit a button, didn't I? All right. Where is 
Atsumi Onsen. This is going to be really hard, I think. Is it is it over here? Let's see. Okay, it is past so it is past this little this little I don't know what this thing is called. In the past I used to watch Aviation 101 on YouTube. Quite interesting videos about flight in little Cessna High Skyhawk. Yeah. I I've I've always been playing Flight Simulator since like the nineties. And when it was like really basically when Flight Simulator when the graphics were like this. <laughs> this this is like this is like Flight Simulator from the nineties, right here. <laughs> that's actually that's probably even better than what it was. But Uh, let's, let's head out southwest. Uh, I've watched air crash investigations a lot. Uh, I I also like space flight simulations and so on. LGR did a sh did sh a show graphics. Older games, indeed, low polygon flight. Yeah. See, if we if we have a second here. Listener one. I don't even know what it would be called. Like this. Yeah. This is. This is the first flight simulator. <laughs> I don't even know what I'm looking at here. Wow. <laughs> this is, I think this is from the late 80s or something. Running on DOS maybe. I don't know. Yeah, that's. I remember playing that. I I remember, not really playing that. I remember crashing a lot in that. I was just a kid who couldn't really figure out what to do in there. <laughs> of course, I was using a keyboard as well. Okay, Atsumi Onsen is here, I believe. This is the first valley. This is the first valley, and here's the second valley. So if we check the map. Right, there's a river here. That's the first valley. That's Iragawa. The second valley is Atsumi Onsen. So here is the first valley. We are approaching that. Because this is the this is the big curve that I went around. Um, oh, did I close the Yeah, see this is the this is the curve I went around right here. It's that little blue building. Oh we're a bit too far away now. Okay, that's the first valley. 
and we want to turn left here. Place on video looks familiar to you? Oh, I remember this climb. That was that was pretty tough. Okay, so that that is coming up that's about here I believe yeah you notice the I went through like the back road here like I turned left instead of going along the coastal road I went back through the the back alley here and then I turned left there so okay let's get let's get into position to fly across that turn she can pick up some speed here and turn see here that's uh that's the railway that's the railway which I went under. Did I close the video again? See, I went back, I went through the back alley here. And here's the railway. That I went under here. Okay, let's continue on. And okay, there's a bridge here. Wow, I'm surprised it found the bridge. What bridge is this? Okay, it's this expressway bridge up here. In fact, there's two of them. There it is. So this bridge, and I think it found another bridge. That's what that bridge is. Right, and there's a second bridge right there. And then I turn left. Oh, turn left. And I think my hotel was over here. This was my hotel, right? So turn left. And yeah, that was my hotel right there. But it modeled it modeled the hotel. <laughs> it modeled the shape too. It doesn't it couldn't get the height. The height is different, but it modeled this little entrance way. Yeah. And then this is the this is the onsen town. Stall. Right. There's the bridge in, in town. So that is like this stuff. Oh, I didn't take any more pictures, it looks like. Because that's food. So that is, I think, this building right here. <laughs> it's, uh, they've done a really good job for like not, not being able to model everything, but they've modeled the shapes close fairly close and yeah I hiked up all the way to here and turned around but this was a really nice 
uh, really nice town, Atsumi Onsen. Atsumi Onsen. So yeah, I stayed here. And that's it. And there was far less people up up here though. But that is where we're heading to. We're gonna fly across the valley and, and head all these mountains here. It's definitely like a road and, and people here and the road actually connects to other towns in the area. And we saw there was like some farmland up here as well. Yeah. All right, we're gonna, I'm going to start climbing and we're going to head for uh, Sendai, which is probably, I think, due east from here. Oh, it's a little weird here. Probably terrain data is a little bit uh, messed up here, it looks like. Oh, you know what? I forgot to fill up. I'm only at like half fuel here. That's why I might have to land at Sendai. Uh, we'll probably just restart because I meant to actually have full fuel, not, not be at 50% here. We'll restart in the air so we don't have to waste any time. Because I didn't actually mean to want to land at Sendai. Although, you know, if it's a big airport, might want to take a look at it. I'll be for time 730. Okay, let's climb out of here. Let's climb to 4,500 feet. Maintain this heading. Okay. So it looks like we are clear of the mountains up here. Stall, 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 no. stall, no. stall, 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 stall. <laughs> that's a that's a very aggressive climb. Okay, I think I think we're good now.
Okay. Where are we? Right, we're headed for Sendai over here on the other side. Stall. Stall, stall. It's like you're flying along happily and all of a sudden the, the plane might be might as well be screaming like, we're all gonna die. We're all gonna die. Stall warnings are, are supposed to be like freaky. I think that's the first thing that they teach you in pilot school, right? Like in flight school. Um, they don't teach you landings or takeoffs. They teach you stall recovery. And stall recovery is always like engines, maybe engines max, but always nose down. You always nose down no matter what. So you hear the warning. I mean, you don't nose down all the way. You go at least level or maybe um, minus five. But yeah, I don't know. Some people... That is the first lesson. So, okay, Sendai and Matsushima, Matsushima Bay. We're gonna go take a look at Matsushima Bay. This is supposed to be really famous and they updated it in the game. So we're really gonna go here. Asking it to climb. to 5,200. Oh, getting a little bit of lag in my computer here. All right, Matsushima Bay. We'll fly, we'll fly around the bay down this coast here. And then we're going to go for Sendai. And it looks like I am going to have to land wherever the airport is. Sendai is, is massive. Unfortunately, it did get... Some of the houses were wrecked in 2011. And we're going to go along the coast down to Fukushima around here. This this whole coast was completely flattened, but looks like they have recovered quite a lot. I mean, it is 10 years later. These are all solar panels. Holy cow. This, I mean, this used to be farmland, right? Now it's completely solar pa panels, it looks like. All right, let's contact Sendai. Actually, we don't need to contact now. Back from kicking the boss's ass. Did you did you win? Did he give you a rare drop? We are low on fuel again, 34. In fact, I may have to pull some fuel out from the emergency tank here. Yes, I win, but good drops. No good drops. <laughs> okay, 
Okay, Sendai is marked as being over there. So this is like the suburbs already. That is Matsushima Bay. Oh wow, look it's a stadium down there. Alright. Okay, we're gonna descend to 1600 feet. Make the air pilot. Autopilot do it. I am I am getting kind of hungry. Okay, I'm going to come out on the north side and then turn around here. Once it's finished descending. What is Matsushima Aero? Matsushima Aero. Here, let's let's go take a look at that. I have controls, and we will wait. What is this? Mod. Tsushima Aero. Oh, it's the Air Force Base. Right? Is that it? No. Yes. Ah, okay. It's the Self Defense Force Air Force Base right here. Let's go buzz it. Are those marble quar quarries? Well, never mind. Japan doesn't have that. Do they? I mean, they must have some quarries. I don't know about marble, but let's let's go fly over the air force base. I'm sure I won't get arrested or shot down. <laughs> Not in this game. Oh, it's hard to fly under time compression here. So Misawa, uh, Misawa, wait, was it Misawa Air Base? It's up here, and there's another air base down here. Granted, this is this is really far away, so. Okay, it looks like they don't have the buildings model here. I mean, I can contact it. Wait, are these airplanes? Whoa. Yes, they are. Whoa. They're actual real airplanes inside the game. It's pretty neat.
this this is a airspace violation by the way i probably am jeopardizing everybody's life by doing this uh, fuel yes fuel i'm going to land at sendai to get fuel i guess i forgot to I forget to fill up to 100% when I restarted in uh, Sakata, actually. Otherwise, I would have had enough to make the trip back to Niigata. We have time, right? I'll just, why don't I just restart in Sendai? Okay, we're going to go across Matsushima Bay. This too slowly. So Matsushima Bay is, is supposed to be like a big tourist attraction. Uh, lots of these little islands. I guess you could go boating. Like this whole area up here. Okay, wait, this is still going too fast. It's like definitely houses here. They must have fixed this up like really well because uh, the detail here is really high. It must have been really hard to like get auto generated data, so they had to fix it. Oh, look at the docks out here. Okay, sorry, let's go back to the to the coast here. We're actually heading northwest here. It's pretty interesting. I, I basically lost my sense of direction if I didn't have a, a compass, because I would think I was heading west. That's, so that's definitely like a, a loading, a port, as it, it's called, a dock, not a dock, a, a port. Wow, it, it would be really nice to visit here in real life. Okay, let's fly over Sendai and we're headed towards the airport here. Actually, I don't think I've, I've shown anybody like a full refuel at a major airport. So maybe, maybe we should do that because that is what you're supposed to do in this game. But all the minor airports that we've been landing at, they don't. They have fuel trucks. It should come, but I think there was a bug. So let's request landing. No. Matsushima Tower, KYLN nine or nine or nine or miles southwest to land. KYLN nine or nine or Matsushima Tower. Fly left down with runway two five. KYLN nine or nine or nine or miles southwest to land. 
Runway 25. Where's the airport? Sashima Tower, KYLN Niner Niner is unfamiliar with the area. Request directions to the airport. KYLN Niner Niner Airport at 7 o'clock, 1 0 miles. 7 o'clock, yeah. Wait, 10 miles. Oh, okay, I'm still really far away. Also, why is it saying miles? I actually made the game use kilometers. Uh, I usually know orientation as well. Ride a bike? Wait, oh. Uh, riddle fun facts. I don't know where is west, east, or south, only north. Also can't ride a bicycle. You don't know in real life? Usually um, orientation as well. Like, like his board. Damned freedom units. <laughs> miles. It's not just miles. They use like knots as well. And I'm like, w what are knots? My laptop bag has a little compass. There was one time we went hiking and people were just like. They just like launched themselves into the woods, like here in PC. And I was the only one to like bring a compass. And they had a map and they thought they were following like the right path, but with my compass I showed like no, that's totally not where we're going. And we're we're still alive today because I brought a compass into the woods. I'm just kidding. I'm pretty sure we would have gotten back out to the highway, but yeah, if you were really flying, you would you would probably prepare way more than this. You'd uh, you'd study the airports that where you were going and stuff like that. Thank God I can lock on landmarks easily. Where's the is that the airport? Hatsashima Tower, KYLN Niner Niner is unfamiliar with the area. Request directions to the airport. KYLN Niner Niner Airport is 6 o'clock, 1 3 miles. Wait, 6 o'clock, 1 3 miles? Did it get further away? <laughs> okay, maybe it's because this map is zoomed out too far. Okay, there's the airport. Whoa. Or oh, that is Sendai. Yeah, I need to be out to the west. Okay, do I do I just land? I 
guess I just land. Okay, we'll we'll turn left here. Japan miles. But yeah. Let's actually also slow down a little bit. It is this airport, right? Sashima Tower, KYLN Niner Niner is unfamiliar with the area. Request directions to the airport. KYLN Niner Niner Airport is one o'clock, two zero miles. Wait, two zero miles? What? Okay, maybe it's a bug, because this clearly... Hold on, hold on, let's cancel... Oh, I, I was contacting, contacting my... I was contacting Matsushima Tower. I was, uh... I need to contact Sendai, that's why. There you go. Yeah, I was getting away from. is two miles northeast with India to land. KYLN Niner Niner Sendai Tower. Enter left base runway two seven. QNH two Niner Decimal Niner two wind two seven seven at seven. KYLN Niner Niner clear to land runway two seven. Wind two seven seven at seven. Okay, I had contacted. Matsushima, which was way back there. I actually contacted the wrong tower. That's why. That's why uh, I was getting further away from Matsushima. It can happen sometimes. Okay, cleared to land runway two seven. Is this a small airport again? I thought this was like the international airport, but okay, this is a bit of a close approach here. Okay, in real life, I would go around, but... This is a game. I'll, I'll, I'll live. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Okay, how do I get off? Where is the taxiway? Looks like it, it didn't understood I that I landed. Whoa! <laughs> oh, going too fast. Just driving across the airport like crazy. I just intruded on another runway. That was bad. Uh, request taxi to gates. Sendai ground. KYLN Niner Niner taxi to the gate. KYLN Niner Niner taxi to gate six using taxiway Alpha Tree Alpha Two cross runway one two Delta one Charlie five Charlie six. Okay, here we go. By a taxiway Alpha Tree Alpha Two Cross Runway One Two Delta One Charlie Five Charlie Six K Y L N Nine Nine. All right, I'm gonna let the AI do this. Go, AI. Where are you going, AI? AI? What? AI? Stop! What? 
What? What what is the AI doing? What AI so oh, holy cow. The AI Okay, AI is like gone nuts here. Um let's make a extreme left turn here. Get ready. Oh, I'm stopped. Wait, what? Did it engage the parking brake on me? What's the AI doing? Yeah, it's released. Okay, I'm going. Okay, looks like the AI can't do the taxiway here. So I'm going to have to drive. Uh, you know what? Okay, I'm going to just cut across the field. Oops, cutting across the runway. Oops, hit the sign. Uh, lesson learned, nev never taxi on autopilot. AI decided to screw us all. Yes. That's the story, right? Like, it's going to like take over and try to kill us all one day. All right, they put they put us in a large gate here. Let's break, break, break. Stop. Okay, parking brake. It's off. All right, now we need fuel. So this is what it's like in a, in a large airport. You get to request fuel. What? Ground services. Request fuel. Send I ground, KYLN 9 or 9 or. Could you please send a fuel truck? KYLN 9 or 9 or no fuel truck is available. What? Send I ground, KYLN 9 or 9 or. Could you please send a fuel truck? KYLN 9 or 9 or no fuel truck is available. What? Why would the game do this? Uh Okay. Uh, I don't know what to do then. What do you do if there's no field truck? I mean, is there some sort of economic issue? Is it just like they're busy or what? Send I ground, KYLN 9 or 9 or. Could you please send a fuel truck? KYLN 9 or 9 or no fuel yeah. truck is available. Here, I sped up time. Maybe speed up time and wait a little bit. Ground, KYLN 9 or 9 or. Could you please send a fuel truck? KYLN 9 or 9 or no fuel truck is available. What? Do you need to get out and fuel yourself? Uh, only at the smaller airports. At the major airports like this, you're supposed to get a fuel truck. This is the first time I've had this. And why would why would the game do this? It'd be like ground KYLN 9 or 9 or could you please send a fuel truck KYLN 9 or 9 or no oh. fuel truck is available okay you know what let's restart 
from Sendai here. Let's all have a full tank. And if I restart, I probably can request a field truck. Although I'll start with like a full tank anyways, but I'll, I can show you guys what happens. Sendai. Start at the gate. All right, I will set this to full tank for me, but we're going to request a we're going to request a field truck just to show you guys. It's pretty neat that they have all this uh, modeled, like the airports and stuff. It used to be like flight simulators where just you fly, you land, that's it. Now they have like all the controls in the in the cockpit modeled. Well, when I say used to, I mean like after the 90s. Because I was playing uh, Falcon 4.0, where it modeled an F-16, and it literally modeled every control in the cockpit. It was really awesome. So it's, it's a heavy rain day still in Japan. Okay, I need electrics to be able to use the radio. So electric on. Uh, wait, I thought the electrics are on now. It's supposed to, this is supposed to come on. Oh, uh, Mikazuki Sakura, thanks for the raid. Hi, and welcome to the stream. Um, we are on the last leg. We are on the last leg of Sendai going to, um, Niigata. Lurked a bit around the issue. Seems like that bug persists in other airports like Orb X airplanes. Does have the same error? Okay, there we go. We got the ground. So is the fuel truck just basically not everything to come? Sendai ground. KYLN Niner Niner. Could you please send a fuel truck? KYLN 99 oh. no fuel truck is available. What? <laughs> so this airport is, I guess, broken. Uh, Mikazuki Sakura. Hello, thanks, friend. Just got done doing some Neofly missions right on. Yeah, it looks like weather in Japan is a little different than live, than the live weather. Oh, is it? Uh, I'm using live weather right now. It's been like pretty bad rain this morning. Actually, what is weather Sendai? Oh, it's only mostly cloudy. It's not raining. I feel cheated. Oh, since I have to sign in. I don't want to sign in. I don't want to sign in and give, give away all my private details. Let's see. AccuWeather. Oh, it's only it's only just uh, cloudy. Okay, well, I will show a proper fuel supply maybe next time, especially once we get to uh, maybe Niigata. Okay, so we're gonna go back to like maybe a few clouds instead, because oh, the ground is still wet. That's that's really neat. Yeah, it's sunny around Tokyo today. Maybe a little runny up by Sendai. A little rainy up by Sendai. It, I guess it, it cleared up, but the game hasn't gotten the weather reports yet. Okay. 
So let it be known you cannot get fuel in Sendai. No thanks to you guys. So we're going to depart west. Sendai ground, KYLN 9 or 9 or request taxi for departure to the west with India. KYLN 9 or 9 or taxi to an hold short of runway 27 by a taxiway Charlie 6 Bravo 6. Contact tower on 118 decimal 7 when ready. Okay. So taxiing hold short runway 27 via taxiway Charlie 6 Bravo 6 KYLN 9 or 9 or. Okay. Mm. All right, I'm going to see if the AI can control the taxi properly. Hello? Oh, is it going? Yeah. Okay. Cuz Earlier, the AI almost taxied us into a building. <laughs> yeah, the AI can be a hit or miss on taxi, but it usually does well enough. Yeah, I, I've seen it do pretty well on like in a major airport, but the last one it was in, maybe because it, it had like the wrong maps or something like that. I have cloudy weather and plus 9C outside. Yeah. Yeah, it said it was just cloudy. So, anyways, we can't see anything in the game if it's like too cloudy. So that's why I'm changing it to uh, clear, clearer skies here. Anyways, okay. So the last leg, we are at Sendai here, somewhere up here. We're gonna follow the coast down. This is the the entire coast that was ravaged by 2011 uh, tsunami. And we're going to go to Fukushima, the reactors right there. We're going to fly over that and then turn west. We're going to go around Lake I Inawashiro. There was an entire like cycling, charity cycling event for Fukushima in like 2012, I believe, that went around here. It, was, it looked like definitely for good cyclists. <laughs> And then we're going to keep heading west and head to land at Niigata, and that will be the end of today. Oh, Naya Naya san, irasai. Irasai, ima wa saigo no flight de Sendai kara. Sendai kara Fukushima made to Niigata made. Niigata wa saigo. So it's it's taxiing okay. It's taxiing really slow. Okay, I'm just gonna take over and drive like a madman. Let's go. Oh wait, 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 we're right here. Ah uh, oh. Uh. Ah, hit, I hit the sign. <laughs> okay, we were already here, I guess. Whoops. I'm used to like having to taxi for like the entire kilometer or something like that. Can go onto the runway. Oh, there's a real airplane outside. Okay. Get a little bit of center here.
a little bit more. I feel like I would do better in, in real life with this. Alright, let's get ready to take off. Uh, please don't irradiate us. I prefer to get my dose of radiation from Gundam Jaburo Coffee. <laughs> Sorry, but we're not going to fly right over Fukushima Daiji. Uh, yes, we are. <laughs> Tower, We're gonna fly right over. I I actually throttled up before it got Clear dirt. For takeoff, runway, two, seven, KYLN, niner, niner. And this is why you should never let me fly in real life. Take off flaps. I forgot to even set the flaps. That was that was dangerous. Wait, did I get fuel? After all that, I'm still on 50% fuel here. Oh my god. Whatever, I think I think continue for west departure. I will contact you next when you leave my airspace. I I have enough fuel to get back though. So Sendai Tower, KYLN Niner Niner, continue for west departure. Oh hi hi little wise owl and welcome. Am I a real pilot? Only only in my head and in games. I'm a spaceship pilot. Yeah. Yes, 50% should be plenty. I I think I'll use about 20% on the way back here. As long as I don't like throttle a hundred percent. Alright. So we're gonna head down the coast. I'm gonna make a little turn here. Actually, I could have departed the east. Wait, it didn't ask me which way I wanted to go. I didn't have an option. So この game がこの game が結構すごい。This, like the graphics are, are really great, but also its usage of the graphics card is also great. <laughs> uh, okay. Since we're going down the coast, we're going to maintain, I don't know, 2000 feet. Sounds good. And just gonna set the heading to south for now. Set the autopilot. I'll keep it at sixty percent. Okay. Just the map. No wonder that game is the new crisis. Yes, this is the new crisis. I believe once we hit the 4080 or 4090, this game will be pretty good. Yes, in VR mode, in VR this game, they reduce the draw distance to help with it. Uh, so you do get 90 frames per second, but it still looks really good and it really feels like you're not running but it's not a game you're but you're not running a piece of software okay um it really doesn't it doesn't feel like you're playing a game anymore it feels like you're actually flying in a plane going somewhere. It's it's really incredible in VR. I can't I can't do it on stream because you'll like with my head moving all over the place it'll look like it'll look like this. And that's probably not what you guys want to see. 
All right, we're going to head. Question is, where is Fukushima? Is it this little thing here? Let's see where on the map it is first. OK, that is Minami Soma or Soma. I guess Minami Soma is south of Soma. I'd pay to see that. Wait, you pay to see like head shaking? Okay, so Fukushima is past this little nub called Ukedo. It's the second nub, not the third or fourth nub here. Oh, here's the second plant down here, Daini. But Daiichi is there. That is, what is this? Tokyo, okay. Yes, that's why I have Google Maps. Because the, the text is much larger. Because I can't seem to... Okay, that, that's a little bit better. Okay, so that is Fukushima. Daiichi, right there. Okay, so we will fly past this little harbor. Minami Soma is there. Let's see if we can spot this on the map here. So there's the little harbor. Oh wait, what's this blue thing? Is that it? There's that little... I have no terms for this. That's okay, that is Mino, Minami Soma. And that is something there, the harbor. And then after that is Daiichi. So it is the blue zone there. I wonder what that means. Like, don't don't go in there. What's the next ICAO? Uh, I don't know what ICAO is. <laughs> what does ICAO mean? I actually, they basically have no like aviation training other than uh, laps, brakes, gears. <laughs> it's all self-trained on flight simulator. So I don't even know how to like I haven't learned how to plot a court. The airport's code? Oh, this is not an airport. This is um, this is a the broken nuclear power plant, Fukushima Daiichi. Narukoto. So, Fukushima Daiichi. Uh, don't do this in real life. Where are you landing? After this. Uh, after flying by this, or this, uh, Lake Inawashiro, and then we'll head north to Niigata. We'll be landing at Niigata. Okay, actually, let's speed this up. Oh, there's a this flight. There's a flight somewhere around here. This is like really oh there it is Anna eighteen sixty three. So Anna eighteen sixty three is flying right now. I wonder if we can. I wonder if we can uh, map that eighteen sixty three. Where is it? Sendai to Okinawa. Uh, flight in here. So it's a little bit not correct, but I guess technically... Yeah, it is sort of there. That's really neat. Okay, you have multiplayer markers on. I think multiplayer is off, but I have live traffic. 
Actually, multiplayer might be on. Is it on in here? I guess it's in the... I think this game's AI is 30 minutes behind. Yes, yeah, it, it seems so. So, I guess... Anna 1863... Oh, it disappeared. It just made the turn like that. Out to the sea and then started turning for Okinawa. It's really neat to see real flights. Also, I guess it's better that they have it 30 minutes behind than real time. I'm flying past that little harbor now. Oh, you are? Okay, wait. Uh, traffic? Is it in here, like multiplayer? No, let's just use... I can't see it. It's all rainy on my screen using live weather. Yeah, I, I turned off live weather because multiplayer is on. Online functionality is on. I haven't tried multiplayer yet. I think you can only turn it on in the main screen. Okay, maybe Maybe I'll turn on for next time to see what happens. Luckily, you can't grief streamers in this game, like, like Elite Dangerous or something. <laughs> okay, let's speed up time some more. Follow or follow the coast. Uh, this harbor. Yeah, when you get close, they just go invisible. Oh. Wait, but oh, you can, but you can also play direct multiplayer, right? Where you can actually fly together. I saw some people doing bush flying together for planes. Sound sounded really neat. Okay, Fukushima is coming up. So this whole coast was just like devastated 10 years ago. But it looks like with the satellite data they have here, it's kind of restored. Do they have like, do they show all the... Oops, my, my game is a little bit slow here. Stutters once in a while. Um, my computer actually. You can kind of scuff their landing though if you cut their approach off the tower tell them to go around. <laughs> oh that's pretty neat. That's pretty funny. Just just keep uh just keep buzzing them until they run out of fuel. I have no crash and no structural damage on right now since you know, it's just not useful for a stream. Or they rage quit. <laughs> hey, where was Fukushima? Did the did the ring disappear or no, nope, it's there. Okay, this first nub is not Fukushima. Man, I do wish I could like go for a real flight one day. Without, you know, possibly killing myself because I'm incompetent. Let me in, I promise I won't make you crash. I don't know. Sounds like sounds like you're you're more dangerous than me. No. Yeah, I I'm turning live weather off. Can't see anything. Yeah. 
Wide weather is useful, especially for practicing instruments. I am not ready for instrument landing, especially since I don't know how to do that. I don't know how to do that in this in this aircraft. I basically just started learning this like two weeks ago. I don't even know what all the dials do. What does this do? What's four? What does four mean? I'll figure it out one day. So I'm not I'm not using oops, did I just switch nav frequencies? Okay, it's I think it's fine. Leave it, don't touch it. Okay, we're approaching Fukushima Daiichi right there. Let's Take it off autopilot and let's just go straight down. I guess they didn't model the buildings because they're supposed to be a lot taller than this. Oh. Man, instruments challenging. Wait, sorry, hold on. And also, this might be something they would arrest you for if you were flying across. That's probably what that blue circle means. You're not allowed to fly in here. But I think that's it. This is the reactor buildings. Look, they modeled the little cars in here. They look like warehouse buildings, right? Okay, but what does this look like in real life here? That's, so this is what it really looks like. Satellite, though. Wait, is an airfield site here? That's not an airfield site. Historical landmark. But yeah, this is supposed to be a pretty tall building, right? Okay, it's just satellite photographs. It's for photos from Google. What does this show over here? No photographs here. So yeah. Now there's other there's other plants down here as well. Like over here, I believe. Or yeah, I'm not sure. Thermal electric power. That's a different plant there. But we're gonna we're gonna turn west from here. Oops. Uh instruments kind of challenging. You gotta set your transponder for the airport's frequency then the pink lines in your H the G display and keep lined up. Yeah, I remember doing something like that 20 years ago. <laughs> 15 or 20 years ago. And I totally forgot. Like in, in a flight simulator, not in real life. I think my lunch just came up, Captain. Yeah. Japan enforced 30 kilometer no fly zone around the Fukushima Daiichi in 2011. I mean, that makes sense. This is the 30 kilometer no fly zone, I guess. Actually, that looks smaller than 30 kilometers, but I kind of understand more. Oh, three kilometer, sorry. Uh, three kilometer no fly zone. Okay, now that makes much more sense. Yeah, on my FSPMV art map, there's a circle around the edges. It says warning, yes. Totally insurance was the only way back in flight simulator 2000. Yeah, unfortunately, I, I skipped Flight Simulator 2000. Just never had time for it. But this 2020 is just so compellingly beautiful.
because they're not going to link. Like, I guess it was like, why would you not make, why would you make a flight simulator that wouldn't use real satellite data? It's just like, it's so, such a great idea. Even if, as somebody said, this game feels like it comes from five years in the future. <laughs> Because you need like a good network card, you need like a graphics card that the current graphics card can't handle this fully yet. So Kylan is now violating laws in Japan, virtually. Yes, virtual, virtual crimes. I'm a virtual criminal now. Especially with the way I was like crossing runways. crossing runways back and forth that was probably illegal all right we got to cross the mountains again to get to the lake probably need to set to 5,000 feet at least and probably shouldn't go full bore on the engines here I will do the climb because the autopilot is going to kill us all why are my flaps up so the autopilot has control of flaps. It's kind of, um, I don't like that. Landing in Fukushima airport. Uh, no, we're going to, we're going to go across the, the mainland again and land in Niigata on the other side. As soon as I finish the climb here, I can show you. Or here. Set to head west. And and I will let it climb. So we are going to go from Daiichi. Fukushima Daiichi out west to Lake Inawashiro. Inawashiro Ko. Wow. This, oh, you can reach here by train. This looks like a a bigger onsen town, maybe. Lake onsen town, and then we'll head north, or, or we'll head northwestish to Niigata Airport, and we'll be landing there for the. Uh, end of today. So I'm glad it's it's not as long as last time. I totally underestimated uh, Hokkaido. Hokkaido was just huge. And Honshu is, is fairly narrow. Okay. So we got to make it to this lake here. I guess... RJSF is Fukushima? No. Yes, it is Fukushima. Looks like that is a major airport. Thing. Let's head right a little bit. Wow, it's is my game slowing down. Maybe I have too many things open. Um, what was I gonna show you? Ah, uh, basically, I headed. After like stopping at Sakata, I headed south and I forget where this was. It was on the way to Niigata. Ah, Murakami, that's right. So, I mean, this was 2014. So long ago now. I can't believe it. Seven years. Just 
picture of me. I, you're not there yet. So I took the train because it was raining pretty badly that day. And then I went to the other side because the coast was on the other side. But So this is what taking the train looks like as opposed to cycling. So a lot of the scenery just goes right by. And you don't really get to see anything, but you do get to reach your destination without getting wet or tired. So there is that. Echigo Kang Kangawa? Did I spell that right? Of course, the video is stable because I'm, I fixed it to the train. Oh, we are at the lake already. Okay. Sorry. So I've never actually been at this lake before. Oh, that's weird. Irregular shaped farmland. But Let's make the weather, whoops. Let's make the weather clear. To get a good look at this lake. It's huge actually. Now, what I am curious about. So like I said before, you want to, you want to go to Google Maps and you search for something like no time and we'll know whether this is oops where do we go search this area so it doesn't look like there's there's actually like hotels or a resort around here which is strange usually it looks like this but look it's there's a lot of farms around here Uh, looking for Fukushima Airport, I found it amusing that the airport is nowhere near the namesake city. Yeah, actually that happens a lot uh, in Japan and even here. Um, where was I? I mean, it's usually the airports in the outskirts because if they build the airport late, and people have already lived there. then it costs too much to do. right? If you look at Kansai International, which is supposed to be kind of like Osaka, it's really far to the south and built on an island in the ocean. <laughs> it's, it's cheap land, right? Yes, noise pollution is high, especially around Tokyo. Yes. Actually, I should be, I should have thought of that because I live next, I live right near an airport and it gets pretty loud. Back the doors open. I wonder if the mic was actually picking up a bunch of uh, airplane noise. But I guess it doesn't matter because I'm playing flight simulator. It's just like ambience. Kansai is actually all man made. It's the longest airport terminal in the world. You mean like the longest uh, on like a man made island kind? Or it is literally the longest. Wait, airport terminals? You mean like number of gates and stuff like that? Yeah. So we are going to be going there tomorrow. We're going to do North Chubu. We'll land at Tokyo. The day after, we're going to go helicopter around Tokyo. Land at Shizuoka. From Shizuoka. Well, actually, I should go over this like after the stream is ended or after we land. But yeah, 
we'll, we'll be going to Osaka, Kyoto, Nara, and I was thinking of doing a helicopter tour uh, and Kobe. We'll hit Kobe as well. And then, yeah, definitely we'll be taking a look at Kansai for sure. Big, longest term in the world, not biggest, just longest in length. Ah, okay. Haneda has a similar concept if you look on a map from above. Well, yeah, that's true actually. The whole Tokyo Bay is just. Oh, sorry. Concentrate. Oh, wait, not concentrating on flying here. Getting distracted. Wait, is there distracted flying laws? Hold on, hold on a second. Okay, so we passed the lake. Okay, we're gonna turn a little bit north. And we're gonna continue flying to Nikata. RJSN. So, gotta clear some pretty tall mountains over there. Okay, we'll let it fly like this for us, little pilot. But yes, uh, Haneda, sorry, yes, Tokyo Bay, and not just the airport, but there's so many like islands built on there, like reclaimed land and so on. Uh, some years ago, people were wondering, are they just going to lose the bay completely? Well, we'll see. We'll see when we when we hit Tokyo because we're gonna go around Odaiba as well. Big site. They have it modeled. They actually have those buildings modeled now. I downloaded a a pack with them. A mod. Well, not a mod. I don't know what it's called. Uh, so yeah, uh, Nico. I don't know if you guys know him. He was here yesterday, but Nico Ni Nico Nico Ni will be joining us for the Tokyo tour because we both have uh, lots of places that we've visited in Tokyo, and I'm sure you guys have as well. We'll we'll try to land in Akiba. We'll try to land in the Imperial Palace. <laughs> I actually tried that on Sunday. Niko Yasawa. Uh, I'm not sure. Not. Not Niko Yasawa, but a my my friend. I visited some places. No idea what those places were though. Nabudai. Nabudai ga suki. So, so, watashi no tomodachi mo. Nabudai. My my friend also loves love live, and that's why he, he calls himself Nico Nico Ni. So I'm gonna I'm gonna have some watermelon because I'm starving. Uh oh. Oh, what what's happening? Okay, I know what happened. This is why I should have gotten like a hundred percent. My engine is dead because I've got to transfer the fuel over. Good thing you can pause the game. Good thing you can pause the game and, and, and still continue to operate things. We're going to have to like wait for the fuel to transfer over. Did the engine actually turn off? Low fuel. Okay. <laughs> That's a... Uh, we're going to die. I prefer Honoka myself. Yeah. <laughs> I, I actually don't know anything about Love Live. There are there are some maps of their songs in Beat Saber. 
Actually, you know, I don't need to transfer. I can just switch to like emergency UL. Okay. Are we good? Okay, I think we're good. Yeah, switched over to emergency fuel. Stall. 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 What the hell? Why did the air autopilot trim Stall. trim itself like the that much? Okay, the engine is not moving. Thanks to like uh, live pause, I can I can regain speed while paused. Okay, good. I'm also running at like four times time compression here, so so yes, never do this in real life. Never get distracted. Remember to fly the plane. Man, Daiichi looks horrible in, in game. Yeah, it's it's all just flat, but I don't know if they sh really should model it. It's hard to say. Let's let's declare landing. Yagato Tower, KYLN Niner Niner, is two three miles southeast with Oscar to land. The coded cooling towers. Runway 28, so it looks like we are landing west. Wow, what's this NC thing here? Oops, right, right. Yes. Gotcha. Oh, okay. Pattern entry, wow. Actually, I never declared landing this this far out, but yeah, the cooling tower is just default buildings, and this huge tower looks like apartment buildings. Yeah, yeah, that's that's the thing. It's all just automatic default buildings. Uh, you know, because they can't they can't model everything in the world, but eventually, I think with modders and and them. They'll, they'll get quite a lot, I think. It's only, it hasn't even been one year, right? Did I slow too much? Uh. All right, I'm gonna take control. Oh, I did use up quite a lot of fuel already. Oops. But this should be enough for a landing and emergency go around if I have to. I'm not going to emergency go around. This is this is not real life. Yeah, I could probably go into the SDK and build better factory. Yeah. It's interesting though that even though it's um, default buildings and stuff, they, they're able to capture the shape of the building from the satellite data. Right? It's like it's the wrong height, but they have like the general 2D layout. It's pretty neat. Am I Am I too slow? Did I slow myself down too much? There's no button for me to return to default time. So I have to kind of guess. All right, let's slow down. I 
have to be below 100, right? 100 knots? What are knots, by the way? I have no idea. Like in relation to miles per hour or kilometers per hour. Also, I don't know when when I'm supposed to use flaps and when I'm not, and so on, so. It says I'm going too fast, but it feels like I can't actually fly properly. If I go any slower, and my sync rate is too too high. Yeah, I'm I'm sinking here. So Niigata, Niigata is a major city here. Um, KYLN 909 is clear to land runway 28. Oh, oops. Over to the left there. Okay, I have to pause. Whoops. Over to the left there. KYLN 909 are acknowledged. Last transmission. Got, okay, okay. Uh, clear to land runway 28 KYLN 9 We'll be going around those mountains tomorrow. Uh, I think they're going to be look. They're going to be really interesting. It was one of my best cycling trips. Uh, Twenty fifteen was a, one of my best cycling trips around those mountains. Um, Northern Chubu. Also. Basically, the mountains north of Gifu, north of Nagoya. Anyways, you will, will you guys will see tomorrow. I feel like this is how you're really supposed to do the landing, nice and slow, not like me, just diving in. <laughs> Oh, too fast, too fast. Ah, okay, you're supposed to go below 90 knots. Luckily, I don't have to remember gears because the thing is like, gears are always down. Well, sync rate's too fast. Ah, okay, that was that was that was a lot tougher landing than I planned for. Oh, you know what? It's probably because I still have. Because I was at 2 times 2 times 9 or 9 Because I was at 2 times time compression. That's probably why. So, real life is supposed to go even slower than that. Okay. Ground. That's the issue with using time compression. I can't figure out. I can't always figure out uh, how to return back to normal. Okay, let's see if I can. Knowledge taxiway clearance. Taxiing to gate three by taxiway alpha KYLN nine or nine or. Wait a second. Okay, I'm gonna just cut across here because I flaunt the rules. Yeah. Also, I don't want to go all the way out there to come back over here. Wait a second, it was just right here. Are you telling me I can't just go across? <laughs> Probably not, but... Why would you design a taxiway that goes all the way out there, only to come back 
all the way back here. Okay, break. Okay, break. Okay, actual stop. Okay. Okay, parking brake. Engine's off. Okay, just for um, just for fun, because I couldn't get the fuel at the last place, I'm going to request fuel here. Got off round. K Y L N Niner Niner. Could you please send a fuel truck? K Y L N Niner What? No fuel truck is available. What? What? Why is there no fuel here? Yeah, trying to refuel here. Near got off round. K Y L N Niner Niner. Could you please send a fuel truck? K Y L N Niner Niner. No fuel truck is available. It was a... Uh... What? What? I, there was no fuel truck in, um, in Sendai as well. Did the... I guess just look for a fuel stand. Actually, I've never... What, what do you do with the fuel stand? Do you just drive by... Drive up to it or something like that? I've never... I've seen it in smaller airports. I can't I can't go out and walk. <laughs> Here, let's switch to the drone camera. All right, let's 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 go for a little walk. Oh, is that it? I'm not seeing one. It's a little thing over here. Interesting. Go to your fuel options. Wait, let's see. What is this? Is this a real thing? Yeah, this is this is fuel, right? This is air. My game add-on was covering. My add-on was covering. Wait, where is the fuel options? Oh, taxi the parking and fueling options. Request taxi to parking. Near got off round. KYLN Niner Niner taxi to parking. KYLN Niner Niner taxi to general oh, aviation parking options. by taxiway alpha cross runway 22. It's not this, right? Oh, fuel. One of these is fuel. Fuel. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. KYLN Niner Niner acknowledge last transmission. Oh, so you can just do that. To general aviation parking by a taxiway alpha cross runway. The wait icon. KYLN Niner Niner. Uh, yes. Yeah, thanks for your help. So I did not know you could just. Grab fuel out of thin air. I thought you had to get like a fuel truck. Near got off round. K Y L N Niner Niner. Could you please send a fuel truck? K Y L N Niner Niner. No fuel truck is available. Okay. Well, let's. Okay, let's pretend the fuel truck did come. Yay. Okay. Anyways, I'm shutting down.
Okay, so what time is it? It's 9 p.m. Ella then roll to that stand. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I guess you can go to that, pretend to roll to that stand and then just get fuel. Take take their fuel by force. Okay, so thanks everybody for watching. That's the last waypoint of this trip. Uh, so tomorrow, we will be heading towards day three. You notice I've only have day four planned. I got to start planning the rest of the days. Uh, we will be doing North Chubu. And instead of uh, being in Niigata, I will pretend I took the train down to Kanazawa, or taking off at Komatsu Airport. <clears throat> yeah. And we'll be crisscrossing the country, east, back and forth like this. Uh, Shirakawa. I want to see if they they map that. Shirakawa, Toyama, Matsumoto, Nagano. We're gonna hit like quite a few places, but I, because we're just crossing the country once, I don't think this is gonna take that long. Um. Yeah, I'll go around here. Out to the coast around Chiba and then I'll actually land in Narita and we'll do the day after that day four is Tokyo um, so yeah and for those of you interested as artificial cutie mentioned stick around and I'm going to Change the settings to uh, stormy weather, and we're gonna fly through it in hopefully a better plane. <laughs> so that ends this trip. I'm gonna stop the recording. I guess I will make a recording of the crazy things we're gonna do now.